Here off the coast of the eastern city of Port Sudan is where Osman Idris usually comes to dive. This spot, nearly 15 kilometers offshore, is known as Omria and is his favorite. It's named after an Italian warship that was scuttled here during World War II to avoid it being captured. For decades, it's been home to coral reefs and a variety of marine life. Osman says for him, these are the real underwater treasures and the reason he enjoys diving here. Here the marine nature is diverse. There are different types of fish of different sizes as well as different types of corals. And the colors are what makes it special as well as the density of coral reefs. In a small location you can find a lot of corals that you can't find in many parts of the Red Sea. Port Sudan's coastal waters have long been a source of escape and pleasure for the people who live in the city. Many come to its shores during the summer months, but tour companies say very few dive to explore below its waters. We try to show people that the sea has many types of activities, not just fishing. There is diving, there are islands to explore, they can camp on the coast. There are many activities that can promote tourism in the Red Sea, and we want to show people that. This lighthouse is called Sanganeb. It's a UNESCO natural heritage site. It's one of the spots where tour companies usually take tourists. But the companies say less than a thousand tourists come each year. So they hope that by exploiting the corals beneath these waters, more will come. The low number of tourists has helped preserve this part of the Red Sea. Now, with climate change threatening marine life and the region marked for its ability to support coral reef, tour companies are hoping business will improve. But attracting visitors here has its challenges. There is not enough docks for yacht and tour boats to dock in, and the services provided to tourists are not according to international standards or for divers to have full comfort while practicing their diving hobby. And sometimes those put to take care of the sector are not those who have the experience in tourism. With coral reefs threatened around the world, many hope that the natural beauty of those thriving here will attract more visitors and their livelihoods will thrive alongside them. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera on the Red Sea off the coast of Port Sudan.